Hi, I'm Fernando with the Circle CI support team. I'm gonna tell you about workflows today. Workflows are collections of jobs and they unlock task flexibility when one job is not enough. So it lets you use multiple environments because you can have multiple jobs in a single workflow, you can use all of the different environments that we offer. Workflows also let you control the flow of these jobs. So having your jobs in a workflow allows you to control the flow in sequences. You can also do things in parallel. So you can mix and match sequences and parallel to make more complex workflows. Workflows also let you control when things happen. Let's say that you have a job that you only want to run when you push a tag. You can do that. Maybe you even want to schedule some of your jobs to run hourly, daily. Workflows let you do that. So let's take a look at how to set up a workflow. The workflows live in your config.yml and it's a top level key. All of your workflows will be defined under that. You're gonna to wanna to give your workflow a descriptive name so that when other people are looking at it in the user interface, they have some idea of what the purpose of this workflow is. And then you need to define a jobs key under your workflow. And you'll see it's just a single indent. And then within that jobs key, you can list a number of jobs that you want to run when that workflow is triggered. So here you can see how we're controlling the flow of this workflow. Job one and job two, they will just run in parallel at the same time. You'll see down here, we have job three and job three has a sub key added to it called requires. And in the requires key, you can add a list of jobs that need to complete successfully in order for this job to start. And you could imagine maybe job two is actually a test job. So it runs, it performs all of the tests. And if that is successful, it lets job three know that it can run and job three could be like a deployment job. So we're adding a little bit more here. We're controlling when things happen. You'll see that this is still the same workflow. It's my cool workflow. We have job one, we have job two, we have job three, and it's still dependent on job two, but we've added a new filters key to job three. And we told the filters key that we would like to filter on branches, and we only want it to run on our main branch. So you can imagine maybe you have some developers working in feature branches and they're pushing things. And as we said before, job three was our deploy job. And we don't want that to run when people are working in feature branches. So we tell job three that job two must complete successfully, but you can only run when this is triggered on the main branch. And that gives you more control over when things happen. And you can filter by tags, you can filter by branches, and there's a lot of other advanced stuff. So definitely check out the documentation on workflows to learn more of the advanced features. If you have any questions about it, jump into the discuss forum where a lot of helpful people are hanging out. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.